Hello. So in this video, I'm going to share a strategy to avoid overreaction in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Uh, in an earlier video, I shared uh, one possible consequence for some highly react, highly uh, activated systems uh, is that even after the first reaction, and even though chlorine is a weak deactivator, the ring is still active enough that the major product of this reaction, in fact, has chlorines at the para position and both ortho positions because the, the, the OH group and phenol, the hydroxy group, is such a strong activator. So <clears throat> there is a strategy that can be used to modulate moderate the active, you know, activation. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is convert the hydroxy group in phenol into an ester. Uh, and reagents to do this include the acetyl chloride and uh, an amine base like triethylamine. This reaction, um, if you've studied the reactions of carboxylic acids and their derivatives, this also can be done with the acetic and with acetic anhydride, um, or we're going to use the acetyl chloride. Uh, since this is a reaction, uh, this type of reaction is covered in a, a video I'm going to do later on the chemistry of the acetyl chloride, so I'm not going to talk about its mechanism here, but it is a substitution reaction at that carbonyl carbon. Now, we've gone from something that's a strong activator, the, the hydroxy group, to the ester, which is a moderate activator. And that word moderate makes all the difference here. Actually, this arrow's a little bit long. Why don't I just copy... Now, with a moderate activator, the, the subsequent electrophilic aromatic substitution only happens once, and the additional size here increases the selectivity for para over ortho. The hydroxy group is pretty small, so, so you generally get a high amount of ortho products anyway. And then we can remove that ester and, and generally that's done through a hydrolysis reaction. Esters frequently are done um, through basic hydrolysis but you know, actually I want to sort of suggest that acid is probably better here um, because that way it, it doesn't mess, you know, sodium hydroxide is a nucleophile, so there's a nucleophilic substitution that can happen here. Though if you are determined to do a basic version, really neat way to do this is to use potassium carbonate and methanol. Uh, potassium carbonate and methanol well, the methanol can be a nucleophile, and so you do another substitution at the carbonyl, and the phenol is a leaving group. So there's some options available. But because of the threat of nucleophilic aromatic substitution, I would not necessarily want to suggest heating in basic solution. So this is the strategy. Convert the phenol into uh, it, the ester. Now that there's the ester, it's, a, it's no longer a strong activator. It's a moderate activator. Do the reaction you want. Get the, the functional group in the para position. Hydrolyze the ester to regenerate the phenol. This strategy also works on aniline. And, and in this case, instead of the acetyl chloride, I'm going to highlight that this uh, acylation reaction 
can occur with the acetic anhydride as well, triethylamine, uh, to absorb any kind of extra protons that, that, that are going to be generated. We don't want this reaction to get too acidic because then it, you can start hydrolyzing the amide. The amide is now uh, a moderate activator instead of a strong activator, so you can do reactions like brominating uh, this ring, and it's going to happen at para, pretty much only at para, and you're not going to get very much ortho, and you're not going to get uh, a lot of overreaction. And then the amide pretty much can only be removed by uh, acidic hydrolysis. It's a little bit less likely to be removed by, by basic hydrolysis. And there we go. So in this video, I just want to sum up that I shared a strategy to avoid the type of overreaction that can occur with a strong activator. Uh, and you can moderate that activation by isolating the, the oxygen or nitrogen, making the ester or amide, which is a moderate activator, uh, uh, doing the electrophilic aromatic substitution, and then removing the, or hydrolyzing the ester or amide back to the original phenol or aniline. Thank you for watching.